The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for the peace you give to me, Father. The world cannot give me this kind of peace. I will not let my heart be troubled, neither will I be afraid. My life is in your hands, and I will sleep with the peace at night. I will lay my head on your chest, Father, and listen to your heartbeat in order to get sweet peace and rest. According to your word in Matthew, the 16th chapter and the 19th verse, I have been given the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatever I bind and loose on earth shall be bound and loosed in heaven. I ask you to loose your angels in great abundance into my presence each night as I sleep. I bind in the name of Jesus all of Satan's evil, wicked demons that attempt to interrupt my sleep. I am claiming eight hours of peaceful sleep that will not be interrupted and everything that is misaligned in my body, I command it to come into divine alignment according to your word. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Sickness and disease cannot live in my body. Sickness and disease cannot live in my body. Sickness and disease is far from me. I declare that my immune system is strong and is able to fight against disease-causing microorganisms. Jesus, you are the same yesterday and today and forever. You have healed my broken heart so many times and you turned my mourning and grief into dancing. Your words will not depart from my sight. I will keep them in the center of my heart. For they are life to me and healing and health to my flesh. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, O Lord, and I shall be saved. For you are my praise. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me my glory, and the lifter of my head. I pray that I may prosper in every way and that my body may keep well, even as my soul keeps well and prosper. Father, I know that it's your will for me to be healthy and whole. I praise you and I thank you for healing me of all sickness and diseases as I put my faith and trust in you. The thief? The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, but you came that I may have life and have it more abundantly. It's good to know that your love is unconditional and we don't have to earn it. You love us so much. You want to heal us. All you ask is that we read your word, believe it, and put it into action. I rely solely upon you, Lord, and I co-sign on every word you have spoken over my life. I am prosperous, and I'm healthy. I speak divine healing over blood vessels, lymph nodes, lungs, liver, kidney, brain, the bones, breast, immune system, digestive system, 
neurological system, gastrointestinal system, and the hematological system. Jesus, according to Isaiah 53, 4 and 5, You were wounded for my transgressions. You were bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon you, and with your stripes I am healed. Father, I will always pray. I will never give up. I will keep my requests before you as I grow in character, faith, and hope. Your word is a lamp for me that shines in the darkest places and it brings life to me. Your word is medicine for my body and is food for my soul. When my enemy comes upon me to eat up my flesh, they will always stumble and fall. The enemy will always stumble and fall. I will always stay closely connected to you, just as a branch is attached to a vine. Apart from you, my efforts are unfruitful. I will walk in your name and tell of all your goodness. I will say, the Lord has healed me. I will not die. Instead, I will live and I will tell everybody about what the Lord has done for me. Even on the days that it seems like everyone has forgotten all about me and no one seems to care and the nights that seem to have no end, I will wait on you because I know you will see me through and fulfill the promises you made to me and you will strengthen my heart. Jesus, I remember when Peter's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a fever and you touched her hand and immediately the fever left. She got up and began to wait on you. Thank you for touching my body and commanding all sickness and disease to leave. With a grateful heart, I will serve you for the rest of my life. Jesus, you are the source of all hope and promise. I will never fear what man can do to me. In Mark 5, 36, you told Jairus, Don't be afraid, just believe. You said, Don't be afraid, just believe. Those words will always ring in my spirit. I believe you and I trust you and I will not be afraid. Jesus, I will never forget the woman who had suffered from an issue of blood for 12 long years. And she came up behind you and touched the hem of your garment and she kept saying to herself, if only I could touch his garment, I shall be restored to health. She said, if only I could touch his garment, I shall be restored to health. According to Matthew 5 and 34, immediately you turned around and seeing her, you said, take courage, daughter. Your faith has made you well. And at once the woman was restored to health. By faith today, I touch the hem of your garment, Jesus, as you make the same declaration over my life. I am healed. You said you would restore me to health and heal my wounds. I bless you, Lord, with all that is in me. I bless your holy name. I know that Jesus Christ alone holds the meaning to the true meaning of life. Because he is life, you are my source of power and knowledge. I abide in him and his words abide in me. I ask whatever I desire and it is done. Jesus, my Savior, I do not know the exact amount of stripes you endured as they ripped into your flesh, but I do know it had to be more painful than I can even imagine. The stripes you bore for me 
was more than enough to cover every one of my past, present, and even future sins and sicknesses. I apply the blood of Jesus upon my body, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against cancer. I plead the blood of Jesus over the invasion of tissues, blood vessels, left nose, lungs, liver, brain, bones, breast, immune system, tumors, genetic reports, cancer stages one through four, triple negative breast cancers, ovarian, BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene, sarcomas, carcinomas, cancerous cells that try to move throughout the body using the blood and lymph system to travel through and destroy healthy tissues. I command these cells to die and their mobility of travel to stop cease right now in the name of Jesus. I defeat, paralyze, and erase obesity, heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, Crohn's disease, gastrointestinal disease, neuropathy, nausea, bone pain, and headaches. He bore it all, everything, and he has redeemed us from every curse of the law. I know that by those stripes, we are healed. It is complete. It is done. It's accomplished. And I can never thank him enough. I declare this time of healing as the end of my history and the beginning of my destiny. Thank you, Father, for healing every wound to the flesh caused by surgical instruments. Seal every wound with your blood where disease, cancer, and tumors can never enter again. My scars declare your healing power even if by the surgeon's hands. If that's the path you chose to bring glory to your name, then so be it. Because of God, I did not die. I stand in victory as a victorious warrior and a winner. Father, I'm so excited about experiencing your finished product in me. I look forward to the day that I will be transformed into the image of your son, Jesus. Like Peter's mother-in-law, I will get up and extend my heart, my hands, and my spirit to you, Father, to use me as you please. In Jesus' name, amen.